Dinesh D'Souza takes on a woke college student. I'm defending fascism. No, I'm exposing you as a fascist. Because, because... Do you realize... Uh, I'm, I'll tell you how. You asked me a question. Hold on. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with the black shirts in Italy or the brown shirts in Germany? Do you realize that they would go to campuses, goons, and would stand in the back of the room, and when somebody tried to make an intelligent presentation and answer questions, they would shout them down, yell at them, try to intimidate them, and count as success if they could get the event canceled and the speaker threatened. But see, the problem is, sometimes you get speakers like me who are not scared of people like you. We recognize your frauds. I recognize, I recognize that ultimately you are afraid of ideas. You're not willing to engage with me. Yes, you're afraid of ideas. You're not afraid of fascists. You think I pose a threat to you? I'm an immigrant. I came to America with nothing. What threat do I pose to you? You, you proposed dangerous, violent ideas that kill millions of people. I propose dangerous, violent ideas that kill people? Who have I killed? But you look at capitalism. You are a part of capitalism? Do you realize, do you realize that Hitler's deadly opponent was capitalism? If, have you read the Nazi 25 point platform? Let me give you a few themes from it. State control of the banks, do you support that? No, state control of healthcare, do you support that? State, state control of education, do you support that? No, all right. What I'm trying to get at is the fascist ideology is one that is distinctly on the left. Whether or not you personally support it. All right, hold on. I don't, I don't, look, in fairness, in fairness, I, I, there's going to be plenty of time to engage you. But let me just say this. No movement that calls itself a national socialist movement is going to be on the right. And the idea that the fascists are right wing because they support racial superiority, wait a minute. The guy who showed the Ku Klux Klan movie in the White House was Woodrow Wilson, a progressive Democrat. So progressivism was married to racism at the hip. By the way, why do liberals always look like this? They always, I don't need to say more. Why do they always look like this? Let's talk about fascism, okay? The left doesn't have anything other than emotion and they try to control words, right? They like to call people a racist, a Nazi, an insurrectionist, a fascist, when they clearly don't understand what these words mean. And Dinesh touches on it. He does a great job here. He's like, who have I killed? <laughs> you know, I'm an immigrant. I haven't hurt anybody. Fascism. Okay, do conservatives want state and federal control of education? No, liberals do, the left does, that's fascist. State control of banks, not Republicans. We wanna deregulate. The left are the ones that want to throw in jail their political op opponents. Hello, fascists. The left wants to censor conservative speech, fascists. Any movement, like Dinesh says specifically, that's tied to a nationalist socialist movement, um, it's not gonna be conservative, right? You're responsible for rape and killing and fascism. I just want these people to understand logic because I think they have been fed so many lies and believe so many lies that they're so erratic and emotional that they have lost their ability to be rational. And I love how liberals try to say Republicans want to ban books. You know what? I don't think first graders, second graders, third graders should be reading about highly sexualized topics. And it's not about banning these books. It's saying that they're not age appropriate and they shouldn't be in certain schools. They're still available online and in libraries. We're not trying to say ban books. We're trying to say, let's make reading for children age appropriate. And liberals don't like school choice, right? And what that is saying is no, public school, AKA government school, we wanna control it because guess what they can control? What our children learn. And there's a famous, horrible Adolf Hitler quote about if you control the children, you know, you basically control the world. You control the thoughts, you control the ideas. That's why they want to indoctrinate our children. So Dinesh is completely 
spot on here. And he's holding this young woman to task. He's saying everything you're saying is an emotional, erratic, illogical lie. And we need more of this. And he talked about the, the brown shirts and the black shirts and how they went to college campuses too and tried to get speakers shut down. So you're trying to shut down a speaker and you think you're on the right side of history? You think that we're the fascists? You're the one coming to a speech trying to stop it from happening. You don't believe in free speech. You believe in controlling speech. Sounds more like the fascists than us. Good job, Dinesh.